sometimes there are certain people that for some reason stop breathing in their sleep. These four have to wear a mask to bed. Hi, Mr. B. Hello. Are you getting your mask on? All right. Houston, we have a problem. You have to wear your mask. Oh, guys, we are not doing good. Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get, get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. Is the new mask. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. If you haven't watched one of our sleep apnea videos before, we will explain what that is. But we are gonna jump in the car right now and go to the place to get some new masks, new cords, new everything to make sure their machines are working great. And we're gonna see tonight how many times they have an incident. I'll explain what that is when we get in the car. But until then, make sure you guys subscribe down below. We are trying so hard to get how many millions of subscribers? Two, Two million subscribers. And we are getting so close. So please keep subscribing, guys. We love all of our subscribers. We do tons of giveaways. So make sure you guys subscribe so we can get two million, right? Will you do a happy dance if we get two million? I will do a happy dance. I think all of us will do a happy dance. I do. All right, let's go get in the car. Hurry, hurry, let's go, let's go. Okay guys, as promised, I was going to tell you a little bit about sleep apnea. So, sleep apnea is actually when you fall asleep, sometimes there are certain people that for some reason stop breathing in their sleep. There's obstructed sleep apnea, which means that like your nose is like something closed off or your adenoids are swollen or something's making it so that it's obstructed by something. But then there's the kind of sleep apnea that these guys have because all of them have their tonsils and adenoids removed and they still stop breathing in their sleep. So with theirs, their throat kind of like relaxes and closes off and they don't get enough air and so they actually stop breathing. And then it's really hard because their brain has to decide, do I want to sleep or do I want to breathe? And generally your mind says you need to breathe. It's even more important than sleep. So all night long you get woke up over and over and over and over again. So you do not have a good sleep. And so anyway, a lot of, I guess, one out of a hundred kids actually have sleep apnea but aren't really ever tested for it. And so some of the symptoms and signs for sleep apnea are if you sleep with your mouth wide open. So like how you would know that is like in the morning your mouth is super duper dry. Another thing is like do you sleep with your neck up like this, like you're always trying to get air. A lot of uh, kids who have sleep apnea wet the bed till really late in their ears because their body thinks that they're still awake, that they're not actually in a deep sleep. So when they get into a deep sleep, they just, their body just, yeah, goes to the bathroom. And so that's a really hard one. Luckily, my kids haven't really struggled with that one, but they have definitely struggled with some of the other things. So when Beckham was really little, he was on several medications because his sleep apnea was so bad, nobody would believe me. Like, I kept telling everybody, like, it's not right, he's just sleeping way too much, but everyone's like, he's just a good baby. I'm like, no, something's wrong. So finally, I had him tested, and he stopped breathing on an average of, I think it was 47 times per hour. And when I asked the doctor, I was like, so, like, how bad is bad? You know, like, he's like, uh, once. And so 47 times is severe sleep apnea. So, Luke and Beckham both have severe sleep apnea, and Delaney and Lily both have kind of like moderate intermediate sleep apnea. It's, it's not, not quite severe, but close. So, they all four have sleep apnea. For some reason, Sadie and Elsie, even though they're biological siblings, are out of the sleep apnea yeah, category. They don't have it, and so they're really lucky. But meanwhile, these four have to wear a mask to bed. And what the mask does is it forces air up into the nose, and so, or into the mouth, or both, and it forces air in, so it, it like opens those airways, and so they can get better air and better oxygen. So now you have been totally educated about sleep apnea. <laughs> People will be there to choose their mask. And then also in the morning, it's awesome because I have this app on my phone and it will tell me how many incidents, like how many times they stopped breathing in the night. And so that's always really interesting to see as well. And so, all right, we are almost there. Asleep 
which is kind of like what happens because they have sleep apnea and so they get tired a lot so they can fall asleep in odd places. So we're gonna get back up awake and bring him in. All right, next is Miss Delaney. She's the one who wants to change it up a little bit, right? Tell them what you're wanting. So last time I showed you got the M30, which is kind of like hers, only come with the tube out in the front, right? Yeah. She's wanting okay. one because she's waking up with a dry mouth. So she's kind of wanting one to go over the whole thing. Okay. Your mouth in your nose, it's a good choice. It's either that or like a chin strap. Um, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I'm just gonna, I'll show you that just because it is an option if you want to okay. do that here. home and then next time we'll see you we'll be getting them ready for bed. All right so we have Delaney. Delaney is getting out her new like all of her new stuff. Her what are those called? Not cords, tubes, tubing. And her mask. Gonna get it all set up so she's ready. Cushion blocks your airway. Do you feel air coming into your nose? No. No I air? Feel air going up my nose. So yeah. I'm trying to breathe. Yeah. Let's see. Let me just test your nose here. Your nose is small, so it's the right size because it says it's a small. When your nose is not really getting air coming. We're going to work on this for a minute and see what we can figure out. All right. Does that feel better? Mm -hmm. Nothing's leaking. Can you breathe? Mm -hmm. Fine. Your nose can breathe fine. All right. Okay. Get in bed. Let's see if this works tonight. We've got Mr. Luke. Luke, let's put together your sleep machine. Get everything out. And we've got new chargers so that we don't lose our other ones. But. And then we have the sleep out machine. Perfect. Okay, now go ahead, put the thing on your head and let's make sure it's sized right. right. How are you liking your room so far? How's your bed? Your bed's comfy. Really comfortable. Yeah. Does that 
little better. The barely in. Okay, and there's also these ones, like if that size doesn't fit right, you can always click those in. Um, those are some other ones. And then where's your, let's turn your machine on. All right. Good night, Mr. Luke. Have a funky night's rest in your new room. <laughs> Good night, Annie. Love you. Bye bye. You look great. All right, I love you. Love I'll you see too. you in the morning. Good night. Good night. All right, come here, Mr. B. Whoa. Hi, Mr. B. Hello. You got in your mask on? All right. Let's see. How does that feel? Is it going in your nose? Oh, sure it is. It is. Does it feel good? Nice. You think you'll be able to sleep like that? All right, he's okay. ready, Mom. <laughs> He throws his bear. Say good night, everybody. There you go. All right, good night, Mr. B. Love you. Houston, we have a problem. Where is your, why didn't you wear your mask? Luke, did you wear it at all? You seriously didn't wear it at all. So what happened after I left? Did you like just take it off? I didn't like it. <laughs> I just don't like stuff on my head. Like I don't like it on my feet at all. Dude, you have to wear your mask. We go through all the trouble of going and getting it and getting the right kind. And oh, geez. You need to try at least a couple hours tomorrow, okay? Mm -hmm. You need to, it's good for your body. It's good for your health. Your body needs good, continuous sleep. You have severe sleep apnea, which means you stop breathing several times in an hour. That's not good. You've got to just try it, okay? So you can just try for one week and see if it makes you feel better during the day. It might make you feel so good that you're like, oh my gosh, it's so worth it. All right? Hi, how was your sleep? Did you actually use the machine? Yes, but okay. it came off once at the, during the night and then I put it back on. Oh, good job. Okay, let me look at your numbers and tell you. Okay, so Lily, your score is actually 98. Is that good? That's that really bad? good. That's 98 out of 100. That's really, really good. So you used it for almost eight hours. You had no leak mask incidents. You, it says you had um, stopping breathing one time all night long, which is really good. And so yeah, your score was really good. So good job. Good to know. Boop, boop. All right, good job. All right. So, Miss Delaney, her mask is right here. <laughs> Do you want to know how long you used it last night? Four hours and 25 minutes. So, you have a score of, let me tell you your score. So, you had a score of 70 because it said you stopped breathing five times last night. So, just keep working with it and try to be in a little bit longer. Did it feel like it wasn't working very good? Yeah. Or it too on my neck. Um, yeah, it's hard because that machine has more on your neck, but you don't have the marks on your sides of your face. Yeah, so it's like, which one are you gonna choose? All right, well, good job for trying. That was good four hours, Luke. It felt like it was leaking on your face. Yeah. Oh, it's annoying. I'm sorry, we'll try to fix it a little bit better tonight. Oh, guys. Looking at his score, he only used his machine a little over two hours. And it looks to me like he got into a late night snack. I see. Cheeto. So I must have taken it off this buddy. I don't know. I got to help this buddy. I got to help this little guy. All right, guys. Well, that's the scores this morning. We have a lot of work to do. These kids need a little bit more encouragement or some kind of some plan to help them stay motivated to keep on at night. But anyway, guys, love you all. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.